hi guys welcome to the channel now this was a recommended video for me to show how to use the ld emulator or ld player 9 to play dragon roger and also you know using a gamepad this is strictly with gamepad but i will show you how to map things around and just go through all the settings now for this particular showcase i am using a microsoft xbox 360 gamepad for this my gamepad isn't that good right now because i used it on mortal kombat <laughs> Now, first you do want to download the LD Player 9 emulator. I will leave a link in the comment and in the description of this video to the place you can download this. It's not an affiliate link, so do not worry about that. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that. I have already downloaded this. I do have the PC client of the Dragon Raja, but um, Gamepad doesn't really work well with this the last time I used it. So now you're just going to tap or uh, we're just going to open the LD Player emulator and I will show you how things go. Right, so it has booted. You do need a good computer for this, and you just you know your computer must be good enough to play Dragon Raja for you to be able to unlock LD Player emulator for your computer. So now I've already installed Dragon Raja here. You will need to download it in the emulator as well. There's Play Store games for you to get it here. I have already connected my gamepad, and that's why you see it up here where my mouse is. It says a gamepad was connected. If I remove it gamepad was disconnected a gamepad was detected and connected it is automatic you do not have to stress about it so i'm going to open dragon raja now and you can see it's already showed us the key map for a keyboard this is for keyboard this is keyboard bindings but i will show you um, the gamepad bindings that you can use so we're just going to fast forward through all these for it to actually load the game and um yeah well, i'll see you in dragon raja Alright, we have loaded Dragon Raja. This is the game. Now, um, I am still using mouse and keyboard right now because I will need the mouse icon to show you where you need to tap. But if I do tap on any part of my, this is my gamepad right now, you see the settings have changed. Before they were not showing, but now they are showing. You can see my wife, my gamepad. These are my shift sticks. Um, I, this is my X, my A, my B. Uh, it's, it's just my gamepad. But to set everything up properly because at first it might not be arranged in a way that you will know how to control maybe it doesn't suit you so you can always go to this icon right here that looks like a keyboard in a way let's click on it it's called the keyboard mapping and now you have your keyboard this is where you can tap on this one to fix um, anything you want for your keyboard this is for your keyboard controls you can tap on that and or you can tap on this one for the gamepad this is the gamepad setting so you can actually copy everything i have done here and use it for your own gamepad settings how to you know map all these is you just left click on anything you want to impute left click on it you can drag it by left clicking and holding and you can tap on anything to impute it right there you can, you can do it like that that's how you do it so this is the mapping now once you've done with that all that you make sure you save you save do not exit save and everything will be arranged properly so for this you can see that my um analog controls my movement my right analog stick controls the camera and i do have my x stick for default attack and i have my b to dash or to you know dodge and my a for jump and i do have my shift keys right here for my ex um, two of my exes for my seven scenes and just just stuff like that i do have my my l2 plus a for my normal skills and my right back skill for i'm um, switching and that's just what i want to use it for now if you are new to these keys or you know using this in the game you will want to actually first leave everything to be showing i'm sure they are showing on the record in all these keyboard map mappings in case you do not know um, all your controls you can use them for everything to be showing for you so you do not make too much mistakes so that's everything that you will want to do and that's that's basically it now if you are already very good at all this i am not good enough <laughs> if you are very good at all this and you do not want all these mappings to be obstructing your view you can always go back to that um, key bindings go to gamepad and make sure show the key map prompt in games is turned off do that and save and now i am using my my mouse you see my keyboard my uh, mouse is right here i'm using my gamepad and everything yeah 
everything is still right. My mouse is still. I'm not. I'm not using the mouse. I'm controlling this. This is my gamepad. I'm using. I wish I'm showing you guys my face, and you know, so you can see I'm actually using my gamepad. <laughs> but I, 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 I don't have a good camera. So that's it for this. Yeah, so I wanted to show you guys, this was a requested video, this is how you do everything for um, PC. If you want to play Dragon Raja on PC, I suggest you use the emulator, it is a lot better. Last time I checked, compared to um, the actual PC clients, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. Oh, I haven't changed my EX. Now, there's something you should know, I forgot to mention that, um, because there's just so many things to tap and click, it is going to be quite difficult for you to actually um, use only the gamepad to control everything like you see see right here now i did not impute anything for this plus or minus sign there's no key mappings even for my box i could have imputed for my box but i won't be able to scroll up or down quite easily and select the exact thing i want i won't be able to do any of that so you will still need um your mouse to control some things if you do have a wireless mouse like i do you can just lean back on your bed and use the gamepad and when you do need to control any of these other stuff you can use your wireless wireless mouse to just move about then but you can use the gamepad for combat it makes it a whole lot easier in combat so that's it for this video guys i don't know i think i've covered everything here now okay, there's one thing i did forget to mention i'm so sorry before before the video ends um let me let me minimize this real quick is if you go right here you can see L multiplayer or multi LD player. I do have a shortcut for it right here on my screen But you can also use here to open it So what this means is you can have more than one of these LD player emulator running and it is like another new phone to your computer So I can minimize this one properly down here. That's Dragon Raja I can even make it very tiny down here and I can have this one up here running as well you see i have dragon raja installed in one of my ld player emulator and i have moonlight blade installed in the other so in this way you will be able to play more than one games uh, that you want it is just a very nice extra element to the emulator that i forgot to mention so i just decided i i, I thought i should share it it's a very good stuff so you can have you can even have up to four i believe or more than four games playing in the background depending on how well your computer can handle it all yeah. just remember you use the link to get the elder player 9 emulator um you will need to download dragon raja from here as well in the play store here you will need to sign in just like it's just like a new phone you will need to sign in and everything and once you've installed dragon raja and unlocked it or opened the game you will want to go to this right section right here that the mouse is in the mappings and if you are using keyboard you fix the keyboard mappings out just exactly how you want it and um, if you are not using keyboard if you are using a gamepad you can also fix the gamepad settings as well so it does support gamepad it does support um keyboard this is how to play dragon raja with a gamepad and um, this is the best way i can figure out for now <laughs> it does have its limitations but it is super helpful so anyway that's it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching i'm sorry that i made the screen as, as small as it is i just wanted you all to be able to see what i'm doing and to make it make it um you know undoubtedly that i uh, i am using actually a gamepad for this still see it right here gamepad is still connected that is exactly what i am using if you have any questions comments suggestions or requests please drop them down there in the comment section i read all of them i'll respond to you if needed or make a video if necessary thank you guys so much for watching i hope to see you all in the next one take it easy guys